Uh, my name is Maher Nasser. I'm the director of the Outreach Division in the UN Department of Public Information. Last year in September, world leaders came to New York and adopted 17 ambitious goals that will now be the agenda for development, for peace, for human rights, because they are aimed to basically lift the remaining people who live in poverty, out of poverty, eliminate hunger, deal with disease, doing all of these things in addition, while protecting the planet and basically achieving progress on the social, economic front while not leaving anybody behind. The reason we chose these SDGs as a theme for the this year's International Day of Peace is that 2016 is the year, the first year of implementation of this 15-year agenda. And when you look at the Sustainable Development Goals and the issues that they are addressing, you can say that basically they are dealing with the root causes of conflict. And conflict is what the International Day of Peace is about. It's about trying to, whenever there is conflict on the day itself, create a ceasefire or a truce to allow humanitarian aid to, to continue to deal with the injured and so on and so forth. And when people and fighting people and fighters see the what they haven't seen in a while, which is the value of peace. It could, again, give peace negotiations a better chance of succeeding. I think, for me personally, I have seen war, I have seen conflict, and I can tell, and I, I mean, I know the horrors that they bring, and I think People who have not experienced the absence of peace do not appreciate it as those who have. And I think when you think of just one day, especially when an active conflict makes a big, big difference. And this day aims to bring a sort of awareness to those who have not seen the absence of peace about what others, people, other people suffer from and then supporting the cause of peace, basically supporting the work with the United Nations and others are putting to end conflict and to create a better, sustainable uh, future for humanity. I think every individual can make a difference. Uh, it's about not what you just do for somebody else, but it's also about creating hope and inspiring others to do the same. The message is that I've heard and received from young people that I talk to about what they can do uh, and then some of them write back to me and say, you know, we are going to do this and we're committing to giving part of our time, part of our income to helping others uh, or to do something for climate action. I think when you think of the sustainable development goals, the 17 goals, the 169 targets within them, many of them are about what individuals can do. Yeah. When you talk about sustainable consumption, sustainable production, these relate to our shopping habits, to basically are we slaves of marketing campaigns that basically encourage us to spend, spend, spend in a, on a planet with finite resources. Uh, climate, when you talk about climate action and SDG 13, basically by changing our even eating habits, we can have an impact. Governments, of course, are the ones who adopted the Sustainable Development Goals. And yeah. part of the work that we do in, in the Department of Public Information, working directly through social media, regular media, and with partners, is to actually bring awareness to the wider public about what governments have themselves agreed to, so that then they can also hold their politicians accountable, but also be aware that in you know governments change, and then there are governments and candidates who who openly say that we reject this agenda or we don't believe in this. And, and that is something that will impact people's lives themselves. So the more they know, the better prepared they are to take action and improve the prospects of achieving these sustainable development goals and therefore achieving peace.
Right. Government's commitment to the International Day of Peace is about whenever a government has the ability to effect, effect a ceasefire or the ability to seize hostilities on that day, which is on the 21st of September, then they should be able to do it. And I think public pressure is important in making politicians follow through on their, commit, on their public commitments. The day at the United Nations has been observed traditionally with the ringing of the peace bell ceremony. The peace bell was a gift from uh, a Japanese society uh, NGO to the United Nations. Uh, the peace bell is rung by the Secretary General and the President of the General Assembly, and it is done in a ceremony that is attended by messages of peace, UN messages of peace, uh, diplomats, ambassadors, the UN uh, singers, choir, and, and students from different schools. It is followed by a student conference, and this year the event was actually attended by five messages of peace. We have never had that high number of messages of peace attend. Three Nobel laureates, and the winner of the Global Teacher Award from, uh, from Palestine. The student conference uh, this year we held it in the General Assembly. And it was attended by 800 students in the hall itself with a video link to students in Liberia that was facilitated with the UN peacekeeping mission in Liberia, students in Cyprus through the UN peacekeeping mission in Cyprus, and a university in Rome. So it was the highest number of people. We had the General Assembly had about 14, 1,200 people. It was packed with the students, with staff, with diplomats very high media attendance due to the very uh, famous people, I mean, the large number of messages of peace, Leonardo DiCaprio, Michael Douglas, Stevie Wonder, Midori, Jane Goodall, and three Nobel laureates 